We're going to do a little experiment here today with some contact cleaner. And this is a piece of uh, copper circuit board commonly used for electronic projects. It's badly oxidized, as you can see. Some spots are worse than others. Um, but generally it's just pretty well oxidized all over. Um, I've got three products here to try. I've got Deoxit. Uh, this is the D5 D series Deoxit. Chemically improves metal to metal connections and contacts, dissolves corrosion, improves contact, protects the surface. And um, it says um, provides flushing action. And uh, it says all electronic connections deteriorate, causing reduced performance and eventually total failure. Re this deoxid rejuvenates and improves performance of all electronic equipment. And in the ad, in the catalog, it said it's supposed to dissolve um, oxidation. Well, that's oxidation, so we'll try that. And then we have this uh, generic stuff here I got at Lowe's called uh, Ideal Electronic Switch and Contact Cleaner. And uh, this is um, fast drying precision cleaning solvent and it's supposed to clean switches and contacts it says to shake the can well before using so we'll do that and then we got um, a plain old can of WD-40 here it stops squeaks, removes, protects, loosens rusted parts, frees sticky mechanisms drives out moisture it says um, Use it on nuts and bolts and valves. Um, restore engines, spark plugs, power tools, so forth and so on. Shake it well, it says. All right, shake that one. This one doesn't say anything about shaking it, but we'll shake it anyway. Okay, so first we'll spray. What we're going to do is spray it on here and let it set for a second. And I've got uh, three pieces of paper towel and I'm going to wipe each section off and let's see what we get on the towel so let me put that back here take the deoxid put it there the WD-40 put it all over here Kind of ease it out of there. Let's see what the low stuff here. Oh, that kind of got in with the WD there. It's pretty vicious. Anyway, let's start over here. Just pretend this is a contact. Wipe this off like so. It's not a perfect experiment, but at least it's something to start with. Let's see what we get here. A little bit of uh, kind of a grayish looking stuff. I don't know what that is, but yeah. I'll try that. Then we'll try the WD. It's a little darker, kind of looks like dirt or something. It looks good. And the lows. Green. <laughs> well, this deoxid stuff, I'm going to take a fresh one here. Somehow it looked kind of oily or something. I'll be sure to get it all off. Give it a good chance to 
do its thing. Well, by far the deoxid is the oiliest looking stuff. <laughs> and uh get all this WD off. Let's see if we can see any difference in all this. Well, all right. I uh, can tell that they all did something. Now, this was the darkest part across here. And this section here under the deoxid is still the darkest. Uh, it looks like you know, like these two right here probably did a better job. The Lowe's, the Lowe's looks drier because it has no lubricant in it. But the WD has a very thin film and it's as clean as the Lowe's. As you can see a little oil right in here. A little film. This deoxid is just like motor oil or something. I can't really see that it did much of anything, but I'll try it again and uh, give it another chance. Yeah, that stuff's pretty oily. I thought uh, WD-40 would be more of a lubricant than deoxid, but it looks like deoxid is, is more of a lubricant. Still not getting anything off. Yeah, well, but boy, that stuff is, uh, makes a nice, yeah, look at there. No matter how hard I rub and how much I rub, it still leaves a oily film. Which is probably all right, if you've, and it might evaporate eventually. I don't know. Um, well anyway, I wonder what happens if you put some WD over top of that stuff. WD forty is uh, is kind of foamy. Wipe that off again. I don't know. I would say there's not too much difference between deoxid and WD-40 and Lowe's. Lowe's it uh, just leaves it totally dry evaporates very quickly um, and it's just your typical old-fashioned contact cleaner it's not a lubricant so I wouldn't recommend using that on uh, switches or at least I would follow up with some kind of lubricant after I clean the switch so I'd say deoxid and WD are both doing a good job of lubricating and WD seems to do a little better on the cleaning. And now, here's something. This is the famous CLR. Now this stuff is kind of powerful. Now, take a good look at this. It's just actually eating the copper oxide off. <laughs> that stuff is very powerful. And let's see if we can kind of hold it down here a little bit and clean it. So, you know, you have to give CLR the edge <laughs> on removing oxide. And that, it certainly did. Look at there. 
I took the pencil mark off that I made and uh, if I left it on there a little bit longer it, it may just totally eat the copper off I don't know that's interesting you could probably clean switch contacts with CLR and then follow up with uh, WD-40 so anyway there you have the experiment comparing deoxid which is supposed to be the world's greatest cleaner of any kind of contact uh, and WD-40 which is supposed to do everything and just regular old Lowe's cleaner which is uh, probably not too good for much of anything. I wouldn't use it on switches or contacts because it it can dissolve the uh, impregnated oil in the actual contact and uh, that is not good. I would say use deoxid or WD-40. You'll be okay. Uh, both of those two leave a lubricating film. Okay, thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed it.